Hi, I'm Sherry Simpkins, Division Chair for Communication and Fine Arts. Today we want to share with you more about our division and the pathways that Communication and Fine Arts lead to. Our faculty are dedicated to students and incredibly talented and creative. In the field of communication, we have journalism and communication studies. On the fine arts side, we have art, photography, music, and theater. So faculty, we have a variety of programs in our area. Why is your area important? Well, the reason why it's important is because we all communicate verbally and non-verbally, and it's very important for everyone to learn how to do so effectively. Music teaches you about history, it teaches you about philosophy, it teaches you about art. It also allows you to do something that, cre that is creative. It allows you to follow your passion. And in doing that, there are many ways that you could find a career path in this discipline. I think anyone paying attention to the world recognizes that access to good information is important. And there's a lot of distrust against journals, but honestly, they're doing work so that we can make informed decisions about the world around us. It's important because it's art. Art is everything. It's everywhere. It has been that way since we were walking around on four legs. So my recommendation is do art. Theater is important because it's one of the oldest forms of storytelling that we have in human history. And it's a live performance art. When we're there together with the actors, with other members of the audience, something magical happens. And we are reminded of the human connection that we share that sometimes gets lost in day-to-day -day life. And then finally, theater is one of the only art forms where the audience completes the work. A play becomes a play because of the audience's imagination. The audience allows themselves to say, these aren't just actors, people wearing costumes in front of scenery in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. This is Hamlet, and I'm in Denmark a century or several centuries ago. So it's the, the imagination of the audience that makes it into a play. We are part of the event. Those are the reasons why theater is important. So faculty, what's the future of your discipline? The sky's the limit, uh, especially with technology and how that's changed how we communicate. But also through this pandemic, I think that we are going to see communication even uh, advance and, and look differently than it did pre-COVID. The career opportunities as a musician are endless. From NIC, you can go on to a transfer institution and finish your bachelor's degree in music education, music performance, even, um, even go on to finish your master's degree, as well as your PhD or doctorate in music. Even if you don't go on to, uh, to, further, uh, to a transfer institution, you can also work in music ministry. You can be a studio teacher working with young students um, throughout your community. You can also work as a performer. Also the emerging field of music production. Again, the opportunities are endless. The future in journalism is very exciting. The fact that uh, there are more tools now than ever to tell engaging stories, whether you're interested in podcasting, uh, traditional print media, broadcasting, using social media. There's just so many different ways to tell stories now. And if you want to learn how to access those mediums the best, journalism can tell you how exactly to do so. The arts right now, I think, are really well suited to and to be positioned to advance in terms of our connection to our digital community. There's so many opportunities out there right now for people who are creative, who are problem solvers, who think outside the box, if you will, and the arts provide uh, a training ground for that, for that experience. Theater has a great future, partially because no other art form does what it does. It's that live aspect. Of course, it translates into careers in film, it translates into careers in event planning. Students who have taken theater and then gone on to other fields have never doubted the value of their theater education because it teaches us discipline, it teaches us responsibility because plays are on deadlines. And so the self-discipline, the liability, the skills that we learn to creatively problem solve translate into just about any field. But as an art form, the theater will always be with us. What advice would you give students pursuing communication and fine arts? Find your niche, find your passion, and make money at it. Basically, do what you love, 
And then that way, every day is gonna be a, a better day than having a job that you don't enjoy. And uh, just be honest with yourself. If I were to give advice to any young musician wanting to study music, first thing I would say is keep practicing. Um, you are never going to have enough time to practice on your instrument when you're in school, but you're going to have to find time. The second one would be show up to all your classes. Sometimes your, sometimes your music classes are early in the morning. Just make sure you show up and um, take in all the information. The other thing is connect with your teachers. Connect with your applied teacher, connect with your theory teacher, your piano teacher, connect with your ensemble directors. Don't be afraid to send them emails. Don't be afraid to show up at office hours and talk with them. They are going to be some of your greatest gateways to career opportunities that you never thought existed in this field. If I could give any advice that was uh, to people interested in studying journalism now, is to actually try it. You have more tools of communication at any time in the history of humanity. And at North Idaho College, for instance, we have the student uh, award-winning news organization, The Sentinel, that produces both a magazine product as well as delivering news through social media outlets as well as the website. And the best way to learn if you're any good at writing or telling a compelling story or informing an audience is getting your hands dirty and actually going out there and doing it yourself. For anyone pursuing theater, the key word is perseverance. Hang in there. Because for every job opening, there are a whole lot of other people applying. It's really important that you make them tell you no, because they have to hire somebody. If you don't audition, if you don't submit your portfolio and resume, then they can't tell you yes. So perseverance is one of the most important ingredients, believing in yourself. Before that, you have to train to be able to be prepared, get technique, solid, know who you are, know that you know how to do the job so that when you get an opportunity, you can shine and make them want to hire you back. Try everything. Try every discipline that's involved in the arts to see kind of where you fit in, what feels right for you, um, and be open-minded to whatever happens once you're doing that. You will find that you have the capacity for creativity that you never knew existed until you start doing it. So try it. Come and see us. Then join us.